Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today's video I'm sharing with you our school supply haul, so be sure to stick around. A couple things before I show you what we got. Um, we've had this for over 24 hours, so like half the things have been opened. Um, so you're just gonna have to bear with me there. Um, <laughs> but um, I, I think I was able to gather all the things back together. Um, and then also, it's nothing too crazy. Um, we really didn't need a lot of supplies, um, just kind of uh, to refill some things that were low. And then for one of the curriculums, which is it? The um, Where Faith Grows. We needed a couple specific items um, that I could get ahead of time. With that curriculum, I need like groceries, um, like, yeah, like apples and bananas and, and pudding and ice cream kits and yeah. So, uh, those I'm just going to have to <laughs> prepare like the week or two prior. Um, hopefully I will get it together and I'll remember those things, but this is what we got. Um, I will tell you everything, uh, minus the little craft kits, everything else came from Walmart. It was easier. We were already out. I just grabbed what we needed there. Um, there's a, a lot of things. Um, so if there's something specific that you want a link to, then, um, just leave it in the comments and I will link it for you. Um, uh, cause I don't, I don't know who's gonna want what. Um, let's start these. I grabbed these from Michaels because they were 70% off and they are some of our favorite little craft kits. So I got these, I don't remember exactly the prices, but just like literally a dollar or two for them. Um, and there are some of my favorites because my daughter can actually do them independently. And Oftentimes we will find um, little craft kits that go along with units that we're doing. So if you are ever looking for something like that, or if your child likes doing crafty type things and you don't want to have to spend the time putting them together, I highly suggest looking into these and seeing if you could maybe find a few. So the first one we got is a terrarium kit. So it comes with all the little goodies in there. Um, I think her thought was botany on this one. Um, yeah. So anyways, this one is pretty cool. It's got little instructions and stuff in there for her. And it gives her everything that she needs. The, the colors, um, all the little pieces, all, all the things. So that one. Next up is... A watercolor kit so this one was just for fun she just liked this one thought it would be a fun one um, so here are your watercolors and it gives you like the um, the pictures that you'll be making so it looks like these two are stenciled you know for you to kind of color in and then maybe it's got a blank page um, oh yeah <laughs> it tells me right here to resist watercolor sheets whatever that is. I guess maybe that's these two because that's only the only two that are different. And then there's six just plain watercolor sheets, it looks like. So pretty cool there. And then the last one, uh, we got this one um, for space is what she was thinking. Paper mache box collage kit. So there's what it looks like there. And again, uh, it's kind of hard to see with the glare. I'm sorry, but this, this is your little box here, and then it comes with all the, the fun little things, the instructions here that have um, the pictures. There's all of your contents in there. So pretty cool. Those were the only three we grabbed. Uh, do I regret not getting like 50 more of them? Yes, I do. But, you know, it is what it is. Uh, maybe we'll be able to find a few more. And really, even if they are not on sale, they're really a good price. I mean, you're, you're talking you know, five to $10, like this big one is a $10 kit. 
it's really not that bad if you're just doing one per unit you know what i mean and then and they have smaller ones they have some that are only a couple dollars you know like little mini wind chimes and things like that so those are some of our favorites moving on to um actual supplies we got a big old pack of construction paper because we can never have too much because when we cut a circle out of the middle <laughs> instead of like down here we throw the whole paper away um but anyway i need something in some way to sort this and organize this i have seen the big um it's almost like a box with all the different little slots in it you know that you could put for each color that they would actually use it, you know in like an actual classroom setting i've seen that it's a really good price i think when i saw it, it was like 25 bucks um I don't know that I necessarily need anything that extreme. Um, although the organization is great because we could keep each color in its own spot. Also, I'm not sure that I have enough room for that. So I need some ideas here for construction paper. Really, ideally, it would be really ideally. <laughs> it would be something that we can just pull paper out of. Not something to like lift up, open, none of, I don't want drawers. Like I've seen the rolly carts with the drawers. I don't have anywhere to put a rolly cart either. Um, I mean, I have more space for like the big tabletop shelf thing than I do for a rolly cart. So if you guys have any ideas, please let me know. Uh, and then of course I got more paper. This is not the paper that I generally use. I gen generally will get hammer mill um something you know they all have their own little like this is laser and not and whatever but uh more specifically uh the 32 pound paper generally that's what i'm printing on is 32 pound paper walmart did not have 32 so i just got the next you know the next uh heaviest which was 28 28 works okay too um that's fine. I really, really try and stay away from 20. I don't even buy 20 unless I absolutely have to. Um, but paper. Okay, moving on. Mama needed some scissors, so I got a three pack of scissors, like three different sizes there. So kind of cool. Uh, we needed a refresh on markers, so we just got a 20 pack of markers. Now this one it's a one solid box, but it's two individual boxes inside the one box. So it's like your standard colors. And then these are like, um, what do they call them? Color mat. No, no, not color mats. Here. Yeah. Oh, tropical colors. Yeah. So that's kind of cool. Actually. I like those. And then just your regular, you know, your standard colors there. Rubber bands. Cause we need those for something also, <laughs> life hack. Um, if you guys eat ice cream, like the little jars, like the little, y'all know what I'm saying, like the small little, like Ben and Jerry's or the Talente and all that stuff, take a paper towel, fold it in half, wrap you a rubber band around it, and now you can hold it and it won't, you know, it won't melt so much because there's a barrier between, your hand doesn't get cold, all the things, so. Anyways, um, that is that. Uh, <laughs> I have one of these uh, label makers, so I just needed some more um, like label tape for it. These got opened, um, but these are, are these Fiskars? Yes, these are Fiskars scissors with like a little cover that goes over them for little one. So we're oh, updating her scissors. Now she's got, um, these are a step above what she has. So these are her big girl scissors, her six-year-old scissors. I uh, got these little post-it notes or like the little tabs. These will be great for curriculum and for um, Bible and books and things like that. Uh, don't know how I've gone this long without them, but I am gonna get more organized and those are gonna do it. That's, that's what's gonna get me organized. Uh, just some cheap uh, erasers there. We didn't need those, but for 37 cent, we just added them in. I have heard these all over the place 
and I saw them and I just went ahead and grabbed them. Um, and so I'm excited to try them on our planner. These are the friction, like erasable highlighters. Um, yeah, and it's in the pastel color. So you're supposed to be able to highlight whatever you need and then if you need to change it or switch it up or whatever. Um, we got a new, what in the world? We got a new pencil sharpener. I am hungry and it's a dinosaur. So, um, obviously very excited about that one. So we opened it and then I got a pack of, these are cool. They're like little, they're the skinny, um, like little dry erase markers. These are really good. My daughter prefers the small ones. Um, right. This is dry erase. Yes. Dry erase. And to make sure it kind of looks like a permanent marker. Um, but these work really good for her. She likes the the small ones versus like the big expo with like the chisel tip. Um, Cause it's easier for her to write with the, the chisel tip kind of messes her up sometimes if she's doing letters or something, you know, it, it kind of, yeah, it doesn't work real good. And we're just gonna stick these right here so they don't get lost here. And then she does have a little mini thing. All right, uh, pom poms, cause we needed those for something, I don't know. Um, some more little paint brushes because I feel like we go through paint brushes a lot. Like we, we use a lot of paint brushes probably because they don't generally make it back. Um, and then we did need, oh, wait a minute. I didn't even know this. Okay. So this was another one that got opened. So it's watercolor set again from Walmart. I don't remember the brand on this one, but I think this is the one that has um, the brush that you put the water in. I don't exactly know how it works, but I've been wanting to try it. So here's your brush. But yeah, I think you just unscrew this. No. Yeah. Or maybe I just, maybe I put it in water and kind of suck it up there because um, it doesn't look like it unscrews. Yeah, so watercolor set. I think this paintbrush is, I'm pretty sure it's the, where it will hold the water in and kind of do it for you. So we'll try that out and see. Um, bubbles, because again, we needed bubbles uh, for one of the um, Where Faith Grows needed bubbles. So um, I just, why get one 97 cent bottle of bubbles when you can get six um, wand bubbles for like $4, right? I don't know. We'll use them. I'm quite sure of it. Um, last thing, or last couple things, Play-Doh. We got little mini Play-Dohs. Uh, clearly has been opened um, and used, um, but we need Play-Doh for also and then the last couple things um, I got clipboards so at this one obviously I've already printed some things uh, this will go on my bookshelf here to help us keep track of um, our book lists um, and just different activities and things like that that we need to um, for our homeschool records for the state that we live in I grabbed two I for some reason I was thinking that I needed to, but I couldn't remember the other reason. Like I couldn't remember it naturally. Couldn't remember why I needed this other one. Um, but it was only a dollar or two, a couple dollars. And so I just went ahead and grabbed it because you can never go wrong with them really. And then the last thing I got were mechanical pencils because I love mechanical pencils. Um, that's what I choose to write in, obviously unless I need something in pen. Um, but yeah, just kind of everyday stuff. I prefer using pencils. Um, I liked these because the, the where you actually hold is a little bit thicker than like the Bic mechanical pencils. Those are kind of small and after, uh, you know, a long time, it hurts my fingers from like having to, to hold it so small. So I figured I would try these and see how I like them. Um, and that's it. Really not anything too crazy. Um, like I said, I'm going to have to do like some grocery shopping <laughs> for school supplies. Um, but other than that, I think that's really 
it. Um, we didn't really need a whole bunch, just a couple little extra things. And um, yeah, so as always, thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you soon.